Well, guys, I've been invaded. All right, guys, welcome back to 1822 MC Adventures and More. This is the end of December, my last camp out of 2021, and it's going to be a shit storm. I can guarantee you because it started out as a shit storm and it's going to end a shit storm. I wouldn't expect anything less from 2021. I went to one of my secret stealth places and there was a fucking about 300 feet from where I was wanting to camp. A hunter had set up one of those little fucking huts. He wasn't in it, but there's a couple days of hunting season left, so I'm sure the motherfucker would be back. Not a good thing. Went to another one of my favorite fucking places, and about every 35 fucking feet was a pile of fucking corn. So some fucking ass clown has been baiting the area. There's no fucking way I'm sleeping anywhere near about 25 fucking piles of fucking field corn. That's a that is a fucking bear attack or something else waiting to fucking happen. So I come down to Dixon Field, had a really bad feeling about it, start setting up camp, and the next thing you know, there's four motherfucking vehicles on the other side of the fucking road setting up camp. I hope the motherfuckers are quiet. That's all I got to say about that. So, uh, got a late start, but I'm set up. Alrighty guys, hopefully it's not too windy, you'll be able to hear me. I skipped lunch because I was trying to find a nice place to camp. So I'm going to make dinner early. And what we're having for dinner tonight is dainty more stew and some instant red potatoes. And I'll be cooking everything out of my Serbian mess kit. That's pretty fucking close and I am at the boat landing where there is no hunting allowed. Well, I got a gun too, so fuck that motherfucker. Peaches for dessert. And because it's kind of windy out, I did put a windscreen around my Coleman. So my plan is to put this in the canteen cup, put some water in there, heat that up. And as that's boiling away, I'll put my mashed potatoes in here and I'll mix them up. And then I'll uh, have some dinner. At least that's the plan. Let's see what happens. So now what I got here is just a little bit less than half a bag of some uh, baby reds. And I'm simply going to pour that in there and then we will uh, put some water to it and hopefully I'll have some mashed potatoes or actually I think we'll just pour some in the bag and we'll call that good Set that in there like that. We'll pour some hot water in there. We'll let it sit. We'll fluff it up and we'll be good to go. And even though I do have a fire ready, I don't believe I'll be making a fire tonight because uh, the wind's supposed to be kind of windy night, picking up just some gusts and whatnot. So uh, with all the fallen leaves, might not be a bright idea. We'll see. So yeah, this should be a nice and uh, easy dinner. I don't know if this dainty more uh, boiling a cup meal is the dainty more stew I remember but uh, we'll give it a try and that water is already boiling now I do not know how long it will take to get this warm I'm assuming a few minutes and plus when I'm making it like this I'll be able to use the water for my mashed potatoes and that water that's left over I'll be able to use it for a cup of tea so uh I guess it's a pretty good way to do things, right? But yeah, what a kick in the damn nuts. I go to one of my favorite, less known places in the Croton, and some ass tart was out there with fucking corn. And like I said, he put it, there was little piles about every 30 feet, just every damn where out there. And of course, because we're in the National Forest and it's public hunting land, did that ass clown have the decency after baiting did he have the decency to 
take his uh, corn bag with him? No, of course he didn't. Now, I know there are ethical hunters out there, but you never fucking hear about them. And the only ones that I know about personally either own their own land or they're in a hunting club and they lease land. They don't come out here in the National Forest and fucking shoot anything that moves and then gut it and leave the fucking carcass out here like most turds do. I'll be doing a video on that here in a few days now that deer hunting season's almost over. Go out there in the woods and I'll show you all the fucking dead, decaying, fucking half fucking carcasses of deer where dumbass motherfuckers have just shot a deer, cut the tenderloin out, left the rest of the deer there to rot. And hunters wonder why we have a fucking bad taste in our mouth for them. Ooh. Maybe we should turn that down just a little bit. Now I know that if you was to put this in the microwave, I think it said like 60 seconds. And I know that uh, if you really wanted to, you could eat it cold, but uh, I'm not in the Marine Corps anymore. I don't eat cold food. Not unless it's ice cream. Let's do this. Um, put it there like that. Put this here like that. And hopefully I didn't put too much water in the taters. Well, if we let them sit there a little bit, they'll probably thicken up, right? I think they'll be okay. All right, so this is down about as low as it'll go. It'll probably still be boiling over here in a second. As long as that seal stays tight on that uh, plastic, we'll be good, right? I do think these taters will be just fine, guys. Put a little pepper on them. Oops, dang. And because it's pre-packaged, I'm sure it doesn't need any salt. It's pretty dang hot, guys. So for something that came out of a bag, pretty good. Not as good as the ones my wife makes, but uh, like I said, for something that comes out of a bag, it's pretty tasty. Alrighty guys, I'm going to take my chances and we're going to assume that this here is hot. Might need a little pepper too. Alrighty guys, there you go. 
dainty more stew and some instant red potatoes it'll do in a pinch so uh, I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys in a little bit